Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehydes and ketones, focusing on hydrates. A hydrate gets its name because it's like adding H2O. And in fact, if you look at the 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 overall reaction, and let's just pick, um, well, we'll pick formaldehyde as my as my uh, aldehyde example. A little ahead of my a little uh, overzealous. Formation of uh, form formula of formaldehyde is CH2O. The formate of its hydrate is CH4O2, which is like CH2O plus CH2O. Um, now, generally, in order for this uh, hydrate, let's actually pick a, a generic alcohol, or just be a generic aldehyde. For this uh, hydrate form, you either need acid or base uh, in order to make this reaction behave itself. So uh, let's do talk about both versions. In acid, just because I'm doing my example with aldehydes doesn't mean that this doesn't also happen with ketones. It also happens with ketones. Right? So in acid, uh, the first thing that happens in acid is proton transfer step. And I'm actually gonna I'm gonna go one step further and remember that the 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 regardless of what proton source you're actually using in acid, the actual proton source is hydronium cation because water then water will water reacts with any particular acid. So this then leads to to a protonated aldehyde, which is now a better electrophile. So now, easier for for water as a weak nucleophile to attack. And, and it's worth noting that in, in acid, most of these reactions are, are in, most of these mechanism steps are in equilibrium. Um, and so that's gonna, that's something that's gonna have an impact later on in this video when we talk about the stability of hydrates. And just like all reactions using water as a nucleophile, uh, water has, you know, water has is neutral, it brings its extra proton with it. You probably don't want that there. So something has to take that extra proton away. And therefore, and so the most likely thing in this case is water because it's, it's our solvent and our nucleophile. In base, this reaction happens just a little bit different. You know, there's no there's no pro, there's no readily available source of protons in base, and in base we happen to have available to us hydroxide anion, which is a much better nucleophile than water. So we can get direct nucleophilic attack at the, the carbonyl carbon. And unlike some of the basic or strong base uh, nucleophilic additions you may have seen before, this step is also reversible. Uh, because the hydroxide can come off here as a nucleophile, or, I'm sorry, as a leaving group. Um, and then, but, but in common with 
most you know strong base versions we need to have a proton transfer second uh, our water solvent can be our proton source and um, we'll paste in our hydrate structure there we go Um, for most aldehydes, you know, the equilibrium between the aldehyde and the hydrate is like very highly shifted towards the, the aldehyde. And the same thing is, is true with ketones. For ketones, uh, most ketones, the equilibrium is very highly shifted towards the ketone. There are two exceptions, and one is formaldehyde. First example back up at the top. Let me go steal it. Because for formaldehyde, we have a much different picture. It's more like 99% hydrate and 1% aldehyde. And, and the reason for that is, 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 well, actually, let me back up for a moment. 99% hydrate. There are some other kind of carbonyl compounds out there that, are, and I'm going to use EWD for electron withdrawing group. These things, when there is an electron withdrawing group on the, the structure, also have a very high amount of hydrate. It's, and it's the presence of electron donating, it's the presence of electron withdrawing groups that, that enables this. Actually, electron donating groups like the alkyl groups on aldehyde, most aldehydes and ketones make the carbonyl groups just slightly less electrophilic, which makes the, the hydrate reaction less likely. From aldehyde and these other classes down here with electron withdrawing groups, the carbonyl is much more electrophilic than, than generally, and so that's why you get more. Uh, that's why you get more hydrate out of that. Next video, I'm going to talk about the formation of hemiacetals and acetals when alcohols are the nucleophile. Thank you for watching.